For decades, I've been on a quest to find the best gaming slash office chair that money can buy. I have used multiple different style chairs in the past, and no matter what, they all sucked and they also looked hideous. And when I was streaming, it just seems like I was missing the gap right here. Now, the DX Racer chair is probably the most well-known gaming chair out there, but for $300, there was no way I wanted to spend that much money, especially on something that looks incredibly cheap, in my opinion. I mean, let's be real. This chair is overhyped. The DX Racer just looks like a children's chair. So no way I wanted to spend $300 on something like this. But I did went ahead and did some research to see if this chair was worth it at the end. A fellow YouTuber buddy, TFI, pointed out there was a ton of issues from his ownership experience with that DX Razor. Proving my point, it probably isn't as high quality as they advertise. So that chair is now out of the question, but I continued doing research online on other manufacturers that produce gaming chairs that are actually worse that premium price tag. And I think I found the perfect one, and that is this. This is the Secret Labs gaming chair, the Omega series. I selected this chair because I just think the ergonomical look and design that this chair has going on could blend in really well in any setup. So an office, a gaming setup, anywhere really. It has like a very modern and luxury look. It's not so flashy that it's like, oh look at me, I'm rocking a gaming chair. It's just a perfect mix of luxury. And now I know what some of you guys might be asking yourself, why the heck does he have two of these shares? Well, there's a funny story to that. I bought this one originally with my own money. And then a few weeks later, I got in contact with Secret Labs and then they send out this one for me to review of their newest addition to the Omega series lineup. It's still the same exact 2018 Omega share. It's just this one has a cloth material that they are calling it their soft weave fabric. And this black on black one, this is the one that I originally bought. This is their PU leather. So since I have both of these two different material shares, why not take this opportunity and share with you guys my experience in sitting in these shares for about a month now. And of course, stay tuned because I plan on revisiting these shares and make a six month update video. So now let's go ahead and begin our video review starting from the very beginning. When these boxes first arrived, they came in a large, nicely packed box. Assembling the whole share literally took under 20 minutes. It was super easy. It's so easy in fact that I'm pretty sure a caveman can do it. What's that supposed to mean? Do you hear that? That is really condescending. So something that stood out that I have yet seen anybody else do, instead of being given like a booklet instruction guide, Secret Labs actually throws in a poster canvas, which makes the entire assembling process an ease. Thanks to this, I was able to place this on the floor and just view it from an angle since they actually print out high quality pictures on each step during the assembly. The entire assembly literally took me less than 20 minutes to complete thanks to this. And if we take another look at the poster that they give us, it also has a seal letting us know that it got pre-inspected before it got shipped out to us giving us consumer a more a peace of mind knowing that our product is not going to arrive damaged nor is it going to arrive with missing items. So assembling the whole share I was already impressed with the quality because the share the wheelbase actually is made of aluminum and has a really thick clear coat which is definitely good to know because this will help prevent scratches from occurring. Secret Lab does provide it with all the screws and tools you need to assemble this chair and they also throw in extra screws just in case you accidentally lose one now in the, during the assembly or maybe later on in the future. Now once assembled, they do give you two pillows. They give you the lumbar support pillow which is actually a really soft memory foam and they also give you this cushion pillow that you can put above the headrest. Both are extremely comfortable. I sometimes find myself using the memory phone as a pillow for some reason. I don't know why, it's just that comfortable. And depending on what color seat you selected, it's gonna match that seat color pattern. Adjusting the seat arm R4D adjustable, which means you can move that armrest like this and like that. You can also adjust the height. And I really do like the connection that it's connected to the armrest. It has like this gunmetal gray color. 
It's just those small details that just makes everything look so much better. And the armrest where you rest your arms, it's nice and cushy. It's not too hard, nor is it too soft. And just like any ordinary gaming chair within this price point, yes, it can do this. And if you look, it's actually really sturdy. There's little to no movement and it can be extremely challenging if you try to force yourself to fall off. The multifunctional tilt mechanism is fully adjustable that you can actually do this. Move the seat back from the back, which I usually find myself doing because it's really comfortable. It feels like I'm in literally in a car seat. And they're both really easy to access. So the height adjustment layer is fully accessible. Now the cushion that Secret Lab uses for their seats is called something called, uh, they call it cold cure foam. And all it is is basically a molding that's actually designed for only to be only used on this chair. This molding is extremely comfortable, but it's not too soft, which is a good thing because if it was too soft, if I would place all of my weight on the center of the seat right here, I would feel the frame. With this mold, you don't really feel it. And that is what you want to always not feel. Also, a benefit of using a mold that's designed for this chair only is that it's going to maintain its shape for a long period of time. So there's no need to worry about any imperfection in its design. It will maintain its shape for a very long time. So now let's go ahead and talk about the nitty gritty stuff. Since we have the two different materials for this chair, I feel it's appropriate to talk about the PU leather first. The PU leather version is the only one that actually has a bunch of different color options and styles to choose from. I personally picked up this black with the sway because I just think it matches really well with my setup. The black on black look that it has going on looks really stealthy and the little Omega logo kind of reminds me of God of War as a few of my friends actually pointed out. So I like to call this Kratos Throne. But the benefits of going with the PU leather is that it's not only soft but it's also very durable. It's flexible and it's wire resistant. So it's very easy to clean and it always looks shiny. The only con to this, it isn't really breathable because of that. So during long sitting sessions, anywhere over an hour or two, my back starts heating up. And if you're somebody who's known to sweat a lot, you might be sweating a ton if you get this chair. So I really recommend keeping this in mind if you're known to sweat. Now the sway texture that it has, where you normally rest your elbows. This texture is extremely smooth and soft to rest them here. The sway also continues to the bottom part of the seat where you normally rest your thighs. The stitching that goes around the entire chair has no loose ends. So chances of this stitching being undone are very slim. But now can we move on and talk about the logos cause holy cow this seat is decked out with Secret Lab logos here and there and the Omega logo. Which personally I do like this. The black on black look definitely does give it a nice stealthy look. And it looks really cool whenever sunlight hits the seat. It gives out like this glowing shine effect. But now let's go ahead and talk about the cloth material one that we have on hand. Now this material currently it's only available in two color options. You got cookies and cream, which is like a gray and white texture, which the color is pretty similar to like the Google Home Mini. If you have the Google Home Mini, they're pretty much almost identical. Just this one has the blue stitching. It has the same suede texture on the arms right here where your elbow normally rests and continue down to the, uh, your thighs, just like the PU leather one. And if we take a look at the blue stitching that goes all the way around, it's as thick as the other seat was and feels just actually even more durable than the PU leather is. Because with my PU leather, uh, it seems like it's easier and more prone to get scratches, especially if you have a sharp desk like I got right here. If you go with the cloth material one, you're less likely to scratch up your share because this fabric that they're using is actually really thick. And thanks to this material, it's definitely a lot more softer and I personally like sitting on this one a lot more than I do with the PU leather one. The PU leather one just gets too hot. And of course, so being cloth, it's a lot more breathable. 
Now, the only con you gotta definitely keep in consideration when choosing between the cloth or the PU leather. Unlike the PU leather, this one isn't water resistant. So if we do a water demonstration, the water will easily get absorbed by the seat. So if you're someone who likes to drink coffee or bring snacks with you while you're working, uh, keep this in mind because the seat's most likely to stain. And if you have pets, um, you're gonna get a lot of dog hair on your seats. So you're gonna have to vacuum daily. But besides all that, these two are practically identical. The ergonomical design that the Omega series shares have. When you first sit down, you'll immediately notice the curved shape going around your waist. The shoulder wings hugs your shoulders very comfortably and does a fantastic job preventing you from slouching. When I find myself using the keyboard for long sitting sessions or even gaming on a controller, the backrest does an excellent job to maintain your posture. And as for the seat themselves, we see they also have a curved shape to help keep you in place. The sides are nicely raised up a bit so you don't shift around and you can easily sit crisscross comfortably too if you like to. And another thing before I forget to mention, the wheels that these chairs come with, they have this PU rubber texture where the ground makes contact with the wheels. This is good to know if you especially if you have hardwood floors because this won't make any this is less likely to make scratches or marks on your hardwood floor. So you could comfortably roll this back and forth without buying that ugly plastic mat since this thing basically has that already built into it. So overall with these two chairs from my experience with them they're awesome. I mean the PU leather looks really nice stealthy and professional while my Sharko one definitely does look like a gaming chair but still has the new cool low key low profile look that I adore. But if I were to pick between these two chairs, uh, I think the cloth material one is my choice if I were to stick with one. Uh, I just find myself sitting on it for a longer period of time comfortably unlike I would with the PU leather. I tend to start getting hot and it just feels, it just begins to feel uncomfortable. But thanks to the seat capability of reclining all the way back, I'm able to stretch and so let my back cool down and continue working on what I was trying to finish. But the only big downside to the cloth material one, if you're known to have food around when you're working on your desktop, you're gonna most likely stain this one than you did if you went with the PU leather. And the PU leather has a bunch of different color options, so you're most likely to find one that matches your setup a lot better. But comfort wise, both do an excellent job when it comes to maintaining your posture. Now, my advice for anybody considering picking up one of these secret lab chairs, I would highly advise you to use their size guide because that was the tool that I used to make sure the Omega Share was right for me. But the next step up from the Omega Share would be their Titan series, which pretty much shares the same exact materials like the Omega series. It's just the, what's the Titan one. If you look at the bottom seat, it's more spread out on the Titan to comfortably fit a larger individual. And the Titan series is the only one that actually uses a built-in lumbar support to adjust it. It doesn't use the memory foam like the Omega series does. So all in all, my final verdict and what I think about the Omega share, they're awesome. I really do think they're worth the asking price they're asking for. They're built well with really high quality materials. And I actually had a hard time trying to find some sort of con to these seats. I mean, everything seemed to be manufactured really well and well thought engineered. And thanks to that molding material that they're using, since they're not cutting, everything just perfectly lines up from the left side to the right side. That lumbar memory foam material that they're using is really awesome. Although, honestly, I don't really use it. Uh, with my current physique, like, I just don't find myself needing it. And the materials for both of these shares, they're really strong and durable. As long as you take care of your seats, these shares, they seem like they'll be able to last you a long time. There's no squeaking whatsoever, but hey, who knows, everything could all change. That's why I'm gonna make a six month update video to see how well these shares last. So if you don't wanna miss that video, make sure to subscribe. And of course, I'll be sure to leave links to where you get these seats in the video description down below for you guys, for anybody who's interested. But now, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, found this video informative, useful in any way, make sure to leave it that big thumbs up button as that island lets me know, but that also strongly helps support the channel. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.